These are just some basic supplies for charcoal use. Um, first, I want to show you the difference between the pencil, the chalk, and then the white charcoal um, because they all kind of function a little bit differently. So let's get started. All right, your pencil, you guys, first of all, you can sharpen it with the pencil sharpeners in class, but I actually like this one the best because it does a much better job of sharpening it and not breaking it. Um, these pencils are relatively cheap, so I wouldn't worry too much about waste, but you can see that um, if you use the bigger hole on the metal sharpener, it does a really nice job and doesn't break. Oops. So anyway, um, the pencil, it's just great. Honestly, you can get really nice fine points. You can use the side of it to kind of cover bigger areas. You have a lot of control with the pencil. Um, so that's awesome. The chalk, this is literally like sidewalk chalk. Um, it's really soft and smooth. You can use the side of it to cover a large area. Uh, yeah, just real nice. Um, and then this is the uh, white charcoal stick. So you can see that um, it has a finer point. The side of it is a little bit, you can't really shade with it. It doesn't quite work the same because there's like a waxy coating on it. So you have to make sure that the waxy coating comes off. But what I really wanted to show you is that the color of the chalk and the white charcoal are slightly different. So it all kind of depends on what you're going for. Um, this white uh, charcoal stick is much closer to the white charcoal pencil color, whereas this is a little, little smokier and grayer. Um, I would just take a second though to play with blending all of them. So you can see that the chalk actually blends the best. So um, if you're going for a really smooth look, I would do the chalk, but I always think it's just really good to see like what your tools can do for you. Um, you can use a blending stump with all these. As always, make sure your blending stump is clean because if you've got any graphite or anything else on your blending stump, it's gonna make a difference. So um, you can take your blending stump and just do a nice job of blending any of them. And it does continue to blend it further. Um, you can blend these with a tissue also and see how it smooths it out more than my finger did. Um, graphite, I always say never blend with your finger, but with charcoal you can, and the reason why is because um, it's such a dry medium that your finger ends up being a bl good blending tool. So play around with blending these and just experimenting and just kind of getting the hang of it. You're like a little artistic scientist right now, so see what they do for you. There's a couple other white mediums I did want to mention since we're here, and that's going to be the white Prismacolor pencil. And so you can see that it does a really nice job um, of covering the area. You can vary your pressure if you wanted to go from like really, um, really bright white and kind of get a nice gradient. The only difference with this is you really can't blend it. It's not a blendable medium. So that's why I'm not gonna suggest it. Uh, the same goes for the Conti stick. So the Conti stick is, it's, it's nice. I like it. Um, you can see that it says Conti on it and it's just a slightly different color than the white charcoal. Um, Conti tends to have a little bit, typically it has a waxier feel. However, this, this really actually doesn't. So here I am making a video and learning about this medium myself. Um, it appears as though the Conti blends quite a bit better than the white charcoal. I actually like it better than the white charcoal. Interesting. Wow. Okay. I think I'm going to put the white Conti as an optional medium for you guys to use for this project.